Dogs are a man's best friend. They wag their tail fiercely, panting their tongue, scratching and licking. They just meander in our closest vicinity, reflecting a sheen of loyalty and trust. They only know how to give love, asking so little in return. Then why do we humans make them go through atrocities nobody deserves? Dogs are a favored species in toxicology studies. In these studies, large doses of a test substance, a pharmaceutical, industrial chemical and pesticide or household product are pumped into animal bodies, slowly poisoning them. Out of all dogs used for research purposes, the breed that tops the most are that of beagles. Animals get depressed too, just like we humans. They can also go crazy, especially with all the toxins, chemicals being injected into them. They can develop severe psychological duress. When an animal cannot endure it any longer, any further, and literally goes crazy from his living conditions, this condition or situation is referred to a stress-induced psychosis. I fail to understand how humans can lack empathy to such a great extent. Stop this savagery, stop this crime, for God's sake. Well, uh, I'm going to be talking about a very important issue that I came across and um, I really felt very bad for that. I want to bring this issue up through my channel because I want to create an awareness about this and I want people to realize uh, what they are getting into without realizing what they're actually doing. You know, we all kind of generally know that animals are tested for different products. That's how the products uh, post getting tested they hit the market and that's how the commercialization of that very product takes place it is really heart aching to note that uh, beagles such a beautiful creature on this planet such a beautiful living being on this planet a kind of breed in dogs is exploited and used in laboratories to test for different products, be it moisturizers, creams, etc. Now what happens essentially in laboratories is that these dogs are kind of caged and uh, they are kind of in extreme trauma. So much of scare, so much of fear is instilled into these poor creatures. What they themselves see and witness when the other beagles undergo the testing is atrocious. Now what happens is there's a long pipe which is attached to a funnel and that pipe is inserted into the beagle's mouth which goes right into its stomach and that particular moisturizer or cream is poured through that funnel which moves from that pipe right into the stomach of the beagle. Now that is how the animal testing takes place. It is really heart aching. I don't have words to express how things are going on in this world and where humanity is heading to. It is extremely astounding to be noting that these kind of inhuman activities are taking place. And when I heard that, I was all teary. I did not know how to react. We people, without having an awareness, 
something that hits the market, be it cream, moisturizers, we just end up buying them because they suit our skin so much and they really give a very, very nice texture, smooth texture to the skin. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of a fear and anxiety these poor things would be going through when they have to really undergo this kind of a testing and you know torture. We only talk about humans torturing humans and humans torturing animals in different other ways, but this happens in closed doors. It is really, really very sad state of affairs which is happening in this world. And animal organizations, welfare organizations like the Cooper, they have really done a commendable job and have rescued more than 164 beagles from Bengaluru laboratories to put an end to this nonsense. It is very scary when I read articles. I come across n number of ways in which animals are tortured. I can't even begin to explain, begin to discuss. Because there are so many viewers, maybe even children watching them. But I want to create awareness that please, being humans, let's be responsible. Let's spread love and not hatred, not torture. We are here to help nature and animal for what they have given us. They have given us a lot, more than possibly what we deserve. And what we give them is just an iota, it's just minuscule. It's, it's more of torture, it's more of our pervertive attitude that we have towards all, pervertive attitude that we hold towards these creatures and animals and nature. We are not supposed to do this. We are not here to do this. We are also equally a creation of God who is here to serve, to enjoy nature equally and not just be a part of nature and kind of put an end to everything else. It is not correct. It was heartbreaking to read this. It was heartbreaking to see something like this happening. Please don't do this. If you see something like this happening, please try to stop it. It is very, very disappointing. It is very disturbing to be reading something like this. And having read this, I really want to adopt one of those beagles because they have undergone so much of torture and so much of trouble that I can't even begin to imagine or begin to compare our struggles with them. It's really, really hard on them guys and you guys as responsible citizens should try and understand what is happening with animals. Read vastly as much as possible and understand the kind of torture those beings who cannot express themselves are undergoing. It is very hard and what we are undergoing is very, very minimal, very, very minor. If we can do even a bit from our side, it makes a huge difference for these animals. So please come forth, come forward and adopt as many animals as possible. Adoption is the only way in which these animals can be given a life filled with happiness and their life can be turned into a blissful life. This is what is my message to all my viewers and all my subscribers to my channel. It is a serious issue and it needs love and care and attention and real affection and i mean real affection even if you cannot adopt beagles at least go to these centers and give them as much as love spend time with them and come back at least you would have contributed a lot trust me you would not be aware of it but really in the terms of love and happiness you would have contributed immensely and that matters a lot that makes a difference, a huge difference. Let's make a difference to their lives by bringing about this lovely change right away. It is a serious issue and needs to be addressed. Please shoulder this responsibility and I'm sure the kind of happiness and satisfaction that you will get would be manifold. This is the only request I have to all my viewers and subscribers. If at all you have to support me and my channel, please do this. It really makes a huge difference to animals. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until I meet you next with yet another edition of Dr. DZ Connect.
please, please, please do take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay blessed, and as much as possible, spread love and affection and happiness to these creatures as well, to nature as well. Thank you and take care.